Welcome to another tutorial from Master the Oracle. For more tutorials, see our website at www.rcoracle.net. Also, make sure you sign up to our newsletter, Oracle Tips and Tricks. So just go to rcoracle.net, oracle-tips-signup.html, and enter your name, your email address, and your name, and subscribe, and that's it. You'll be added to our list and uh, on the list for updates to our tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to look at the update statement. And the update statement, as, in, as its name implies, modifies existing data in our Oracle database. So the format of the update statement is update, which is the keyword, table name. In this case, we use the authors, the author table, and then the keyword set, and then the value, the name rather of the column that we wish to change. So we set the author name to be brown. And if we run that statement, it tells us that six rows is updated. But does that mean that we've updated every row in the table? Well, let's just check. Uh, we we'll just comment out this line so we can type in this. So we select count star from author. Uh, if we run that, we'll see that there are indeed six rows in the table. So what we have actually done is update every row in the table. So how do we avoid that? Well, <coughs> excuse me, we need to add a where clause onto the end. So we set author name is brown where author ID equals 100. And if we run that statement, we find that no rows were updated, which means that author ID 100 wasn't found in the in the table. Now, this isn't an, or, an error as far as Oracle is concerned, but it may be an error for your application if you're expecting that value to be there or that record to be there in the database. Uh, in this case, we're using the primary key, so we will always find only at most one record matching that. So if we want to be less specific we can use a column that isn't unique such as the author name and we can use an equals sign or any other uh, operator so we could use like and the percent i is just a, a wild card so if we run that okay we didn't yeah, we change that to an o because we didn't find any matches and this time we got six rows updated. So if we want to be reduce the set of rows that we change, we can add on extra conditions. So for example, uh, and author name like, I don't know, um, a so it starts with a so if you run that again it won't find anything this time but uh, we could do so that's and we can add on more conditions we can use the or um, if it's an optional condition and we can keep going adding on conditions like that right so what if we don't know the new value or the column or what if we want to modify the value of the column to be depending on what it actually is at the moment. For example, if you want to give everyone a 10% pay rise, we don't want to have to go through the table and figure out everyone's salary and then write a program that will say update employee one set his salary to be $250 an hour. Um, so we just want to do it all in one go. So we can do that with the update statements. So we update employee, we can refer to the column of the existing value of the column in the update statement. So, so salary equals salary and times 1.1. Obviously times one will give it, mean it won't change. Times 1.1 will mean giving, it, giving everyone a 10% pay rise. So if we run that um, and spell the table name correctly, then we will find that it works. So there we go, 107 rows updated. So we just roll that back because you don't want to keep those changes. So that's basically the update statement. 
we can get sophisticated and use a, a subquery in the where clause. So, for example, where um, employee ID equals select author ID from author. Because uh, we're going to have more than one row come back from the subquery, we need to change that equals to an in. It may not find any matches anyway, so no, it didn't, but that's what we can do. And obviously, if we want to restrict the rows that we turn, we can add on a where clause on the end of this subquery here. So that's the update statement. This tutorial was brought to you by Ask the Oracle. For more Oracle and PLSQL tutorials, hop over to our website at www.asktheoracle.net.